Pakistan has issued a no time warning, making multiple air traffic routes across the entire country unavailable, which clearly shows that the shock from Indian missile strikes hasn't faded yet. Pakistan has extended the closure of its airspace for flights operated by Indian Airlines by another month till 24 August. The Luxor Weep administration has issued a notification to transfer the Bitra Island to Defense and Strategic Agencies, which is one of the ten inhabited islands in the archipelago, citing its strategic location and national security relevance. The DRDO has issued a request for proposal to select a development and production partner for the Viru Paksha radar for the Super Shukhoi upgrade program. Hyderabad based Vera Dynamics and Binford Research Labs are jointly developing India's first privately funded stealth drone, that has been integrated with Project Rama stealth material developed by Vera Dynamics, which is designed for multi spectral concealment. The stealth drone is currently under field testing, and it features dual stealth technology to reduce both infrared and radar signatures, and is capable of operating in GPS denied zones and radio frequency jammed zones. The recent Akash Prime missile test at 15,000 feet in Ladakh was conducted with support from the Shikru indigenous high-speed target drones by Anna Drone Systems. New images have surfaced showing the massive AN-124 strategic airlifter operated by Antonov Airlines, being readied to transport the first batch of three Apache attack helicopters for the Indian Army from Arizona to Hinden Air Base in India. Delhi-based DG Propulsion has successfully conducted a dual-engine test run of its indigenous DGJ-40 microturbojet engines, paving the way for integration into a jet-powered drone test bed. The DRDO has successfully completed field trials of the 30 kW laser-based directed energy weapon, that is capable of neutralizing drones and low-altitude threats at a range of 5 km. The DRDO is also working on a more powerful 300 kW Surya laser weapon, that can neutralize fighter jets, helicopters and satellites, destroy ballistic and cruise missiles in flight, and intercepts drone swarms. India and Russia are in advanced talks to jointly manufacture the AK-19 carbine and PPK-20 submachine gun for domestic use and export. Discussions are underway to secure full technology transfer from Russia, enabling domestic manufacturing for Indian forces and future exports, as several foreign nations from Southeast Asia Africa and Middle East have shown interest. India's light tank program has entered a key phase as five domestic firms have submitted bids to supply 354 next-generation light tanks for high-altitude operations under a 25,000 crore rupees program. The bids for 354 units were submitted on 14 July, that includes Larson and Tubro, Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited, Bharat Forge, Tata Motors and Mohindra Defence. India and Russia are advancing joint efforts to develop the BrahMos 2K hypersonic missile, and the groundwork is underway for the 1,500 km range Mach 8 capable next generation missile. Officials have confirmed that both sides are collaborating on propulsion and materials technology. A full scale hypersonic BrahMos 2 is expected once the core technology is mature and flight testing is projected for end of 2026 or early 2027. Krishna Defence and Allied Industries has launched construction of India's largest autonomous underwater vehicle at its Gujarat facility known as Jalkapi Extra Large Unmanned Underwater Vehicle. The 11-metre-long 20-tonne underwater vehicle is designed by the Navy's Submarine Design Group, that is capable of 300-metre dives. 45 days endurance, and missions ranging from intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance to anti-submarine warfare. Today's top 3 comments.